Hey, what's going on? This is Shadow Band, man. You don't know who I am. Shit, it is what it is. Now, peep this, man. I was just online, you know what I mean? And I'm listening to or looking at the Charleston White 600 Breezy situation. You know what I mean? We respectively know in the hip-hop community who those individuals are. You dig? All right, so peep this. I was looking at DJ Academics basically break that beef down and talk about how 600 Breezy is Mr. Pull-Up and how Charleston White, you know what I mean? He pulled up on him and they had some, they exchanged some words. You got what I'm saying? Now, from my perspective of things, you know what I mean? Because that's why I'm getting on to give my perspective of things. Now, I don't have, I don't know these guys personally. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know them personally. You know what I mean? I just know what I see as it applies to social media, as it applies to regular media, and as it applies to the hip-hop culture. Now, hip-hop culture is ran off drugs, money, violence, sex, you know what I mean? Sex, murder, money, you know what I mean? That's just, that's just how it is, you know what I mean? That's just how it is. It's street culture. That's what hip-hop is originally, is street culture. So with the street culture, you have a lot of elements to that street culture. You know what I mean? Just because it's fucking the streets. You know what I mean? It's just fucking the streets. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to be able to apply regular civilian or regular life principles to street culture because the street culture is the culture of death. You know what I mean? Death and destruction, chaos. That's what street culture is all about. You know what I mean? And right now, hip hop is evolving and it's basically revolving around death and destruction. You know what I mean? So you got 600 breezy, you know what I mean? You got Charleston white, Charleston white. He comes from a historically turbulent background. You got 600 breezy who he in the midst of turbulence. They both the same people. Except one is older, the other one is younger, of course. You know what I mean? So they're giving, they in a conversation, heated conversation. But in hip-hop, when you're in a heated conversation, it's not always a bad thing. You know what I mean? People just be passionate about what they're passionate about. And that's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? So... They both standing on principles. They standing on what they believe in. You know what I mean? They just on a square like that. You know what I mean? So from my perspective of things, though, listen, from the old generation, you're not going to be able to talk to the young generation with the words that you use. See, the older generation, a lot of times, the problem exists where they speak using what I'm going to call incendiary language and they speak to the younger generation. But guess what? The younger generation ain't trying to hear that shit. You speaking with no respect because you of an older generation, you don't feel like you got to respect the younger generation. You know what I mean? So that's the reason why you speak with the just complete no respect. You know what I'm saying? That lack of respect. Is what makes the younger generation avoid and ignore your words. See, in order for you and the older generation to successfully communicate with the younger generation, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to elevate your language. You got to elevate how you communicate so that both of y'all can rise together. I know that sounds crazy, and I know I'm speaking in a slow way so that you can understand my words because I'm trying to carefully think about what I'm saying before I'm saying it. You know, when I was younger, I was always told to think five times before I speak. So I'm trying to think and formulate these words and put them together so you understand the message. You know what I'm saying? So the problem exists with the older generation it's a language barrier. It's a respect barrier. On every level, a lot of the old OGs or older people, they feel like they don't got to respect the younger generation. Because fuck that, I'm old, I done been through it, you should fucking listen to me. Well, guess what? 
The world don't evolve around you. In the world right now that we built in and that we living in, it don't work like that. Nobody got to listen to you. You know what I'm saying? You could be old, but you were old OG. Nobody give a fuck about that. Yo, who you shot 20 years ago don't matter because you ain't shoot them yesterday. You know what I'm saying? We living in a different time with different people. So the younger generation, they are a different type of generation. The things that they accept are different than what you used to accept. The things that they are okay with, different. The consequences of what they do is different. So you're not going to be able to talk to the young generation with no respect and think they ain't going to want to pull up and slide your head off. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't speak with respect, then trust me, dog, they going to check you. And it's not going to be nothing on how you want it to be. You know what I'm saying? So I think the message to the older generation is that you need to respect the younger generation even if you don't agree with what they do. You still got to try to meet halfway. It has to be a median. You got to meet them in the middle. You can't just be talking with no respect and thinking they're going to listen to you because they never going to listen to that. You know, the only thing you're going to do is make somebody beat you up. You know what I'm saying? They, they will beat you the fuck up because you're talking crazy. You know what I mean? So that's just what I think about that whole situation. Now, what I can't say about Charleston White is he's known for saying things that like over the top, you know what I'm saying? Like he's considered like a shock personality, you know what I'm saying? And we, we know he did some time and he made some, some mistakes in his younger life. So he just seeing things and communicating from his perspective, because you got to understand that when you come from the streets, the streets kind of mold you and they kind of shape you. You know what I'm saying? So you see the light, you see the world through how you experienced the world. So if you come up difficult and you came up hard and you ain't never had no opportunities and, and you suffering from, from being a victim and, and a lot of times the victimizer was racist and they did things that are violent, you know, you, you, you formed in a certain way. And if you ever been incarcerated and you already know that your mind is structured a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Like you have to meet even in peaceful situations. This is what I have learned. Even in peaceful situations, you meet it with violence you know what I'm saying? You meet it with active aggression. That's what I mean by violence, active aggression. That's just how you, you meet life. You meet people with your experiences, and then whatever the situation is, you initially meet it with aggression because that's how it is when you've been raised from just being a street dude. You know what I'm saying? So when I hear how Charleston White talks, I understand that. Since he was formulated from the streets, he was birthed in the streets. He was a, a street baby. So a lot of times, a lot of street babies, they like latchkey kids. You know what I'm saying? They had to grow up on their own. So they see life from a, a different perspective. So now that they're in the world and they're trying to correct all of the mistakes that they see, a lot of times their language and their perspective and their personality, even when they're talking to the young generation, it's not a situation where the young generation can even listen or understand. So they're going to meet it with aggression the same way he meets things with aggression. And he means Charleston White. So Charleston White, he is an aggressive person. So now on the other side, young generation, they the world is different because the struggle is different. It's still a struggle, but it's a different type of struggle. The struggle from the young generation is a different type of struggle because now you got nothing but options. So because you have so many options, now it's a struggle in choosing the options that you have. Now, the different struggle with the older generation is they ain't have no options. You got what I'm saying? So now it's too many options. There's so many options that this younger generation, guess what? They influenced 
by the negative culture. You know, so they influenced by the street culture. They influenced by the gun culture. They influenced by the gang culture. So you have so many different elements that are influencing the new generation or the young generation that it makes it difficult for the young generation to understand exactly who they are because they have so many choices that they don't even know who they want to be. So they are experiencing it's like a little man born with eight lives. So you born with eight lives and you know, you got eight lives. You know what I mean? You know, yo, I can do this and I can die and I can come back as this. Oh, I can do this and I can die and come back. So then you just do, you you party, 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 and oh, man, just, you jump off a cliff. Oh, forget it. Fuck it. It's, uh, I, I got more than one life to live. Boom. Then you OD on that. You dead. You come back. You got what I'm saying? Then you OD yourself again. You come back. You know what I mean? You you go to the extreme. That's what I mean by OD. You go to the extreme on anything. Kill yourself. Boom. But you can come back. That's what it's like for this younger generation. They do everything extreme, everything over extra because they can transform from this person right here to this person right here because they got so many options. So when you a street dude in this young generation, yo, it's nothing. They will take your life easily because they're not thinking about the secondary, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, seventh in order of effect. Because everything that happens has a secondary, a third, a fourth, and a fifth, and a sixth, and a seventh, on and on type of effect. It's not just I do one thing and then two things happen. No, you do one thing, two, three, four, five. So many different things happen. Now, with this younger generation, they don't think like that. You know what I mean? They got more tunnel vision because they got so many options. So they are so inclined to not listen to the older generation because the older generation who didn't have so many choices, they like, yo man, you got all these options. You got all these choices and you making this choice. They get all preachy. You got what I'm saying? So that's what, like I said, it's a generational disconnect. So when I see 600 breezy and I see Charleston white and I see them going at it and fussing, yo, the older generation and younger generation fussing, Yo, it can never end positive. It can never be a peace treaty to it because they don't understand each other. Now, as it applies to you speaking on, you speaking in a negative way about people who have been deceased. Now, how I was raised is if I'm not going to speak on something that I can't confront you about. So let's say you, you live this crazy negative life. You live this crazy negative life. Guess what? I'm not going to confront you living this crazy negative life. The reason why I ain't going to speak on you because if you're not here, because I can't communicate with you. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't speak on a man unless I can communicate with that man. Now, if I, if I speak on you and you living and it is what it is, because who going to say something? You know what I'm saying? When you see me, then you catch me in traffic. And then when I see you, when we handle it, however we handle it, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, you got to be dealing with the secondary and the third order of effect of what's said. So if I say something, I got to stand on that. You know what I mean? This is all nation business principles, yo. If I, if I say something and I put it out there like that, if you see me in the streets, I got to stand on that. You got what I'm saying? That's how it got to be. So now when you see me and we do whatever we do, yo, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I can't go back and be like, well, nah, bro, I shouldn't have said. I would. Nah, man, you said what you said. Now, let me see that energy. Keep that same energy. But a lot of times what happens is people, it's like they got internet courage, man. The internet made it so easy and convenient 
for people to be so brave and so tough because guess what? They probably will never see you ever again in life. They'll just say all the things that they want to say and then have no consequences for what they are saying. You got what I'm saying? So that's the problem that I see from the, the younger generation to the old generation, you know what I mean? And, you know, I know I spoke on a lot of things, you know what I mean? But, yo, it is what it is, you know what I mean? That's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole reason why I shadow ban. Look, on shadow ban man, that's, I'm the shadow ban man because, yo, when I started speaking, I done spoke on these topics, and I kept getting banned. So now I'm just creating my shadow band man channel. And then we just doing what we doing, talking about the things that we talking about. If you like it, cool. If you don't like it, cool. If you want to fuck with a nigga, fuck with a nigga. But if not, shit, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't advocate violence and nothing like that. You got to handle what you handle in real life. You got what I'm saying? I, rec I recommend and I live a life of reality. I live in this regular world. You got what I'm saying? So that's what it is. I advise you to do the same instead of living in this fantasy. You know what I'm saying? I'm the shadow band man. I'm out of here. You know what I mean?